Hello everyone, I am Nandita from Sonu Academy. Now I am going to explain about Environmental Studies Class 3 CBSE. The topic name is Poonam's Day Out. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about different types of animals which are present in nature and that are observed by the Poonam. Let us start our discussion, the topic Poonam's Day Out. Poonam, the girl, she is asking her mother, Ma, let me go to the school today. I have been at home for the past two days. I am getting bored, Poonam said. But you still have fever. Go outside and lay down on the cot, replied is given by the Poonam's mother. Poonam fell asleep on the cot which is in her backyard under the tree. After some time, suddenly something fell on her face. Poonam woke up at once and touched her cheek. Oh no, Which, whose mischief, mischief is this? Is it the crow or the pigeon? Poonam looked up. She saw many animals on the tree. She observed that some are climbing from one branch to another branch with a long tail. Some are building their nest with leaves. Some are sleeping on the branches. Poonam picked up a leaf from the ground and whipped her cheek with it. But her cheek was still sticky. She thought, let me go and wash my face in the nearby the pond. While going to the pond, she saw some animals on the ground. Poonam saw many animals in the pond also. Then she noticed that animals live in different places. Some animals live in the trees. Some animals live in water. Some animals live on the land. Some animals live under the ground. Some animals fly in the sky. Some animals even live in our houses. She also observed that different animals make different kinds of sounds. For example, sound of a crow, sound of a sheep, sound of a buffalo, sound of a frog. And she saw that different animals move in different ways to go from one place to another. Some animals walk to go from one place to another. Some animals fly. Some are crawl, some uh, can swim, some animals use their feet, some use their wings, some animals even take their help, the help of their tail to move from one place to another place. In this lesson, the word animal is used for insects, birds, reptiles and mammals. Let us know what is the meaning of insects, birds, reptiles and mammals. First, insects. Insects means these are small vertebrate animals that has six legs and generally one or two pairs of wings. Birds. A warm-blooded egg-laying vertebrate animal. Distinguished by the position of feathers, wings, beak and a typical by being able to fly. Next come to the reptiles. Reptiles are a cold-blooded vertebrate animals. In these reptiles, snakes, lizards, crocodiles, tortoise are included. They are distinguished by having a dry scaly skin and typically laying softish shelled egg on the land. Next come to the mammals. Mammals are warmed blood vertebrate animals. These are distinguished by the position of presence of hair or fur on the body. Females that they secrete milk for the nourishment of young ones and they directly give birth to the young ones. In this lesson, we learn about animals lives in different places with different kinds of movements and sounds in the nature. Thank you.